balancing the redox uh, equation using a basic medium now. So you start with the same way, which means that you still need to figure out what is getting oxidized, what is getting reduced. So here Br2 is oxidation state zero because it's an element. Here bromide is minus one. And here the bromide is going to be, it's not really bromide anymore. It's going to be plus five because we have uh, three oxygen. So three times minus two, minus two is oxidation number of oxygen. So that's six. And you have to have one minus remaining. So bromine must be plus five. So then uh, you have bromine going to minus one and you have bromine also going to plus five. Minus one means it gained electrons and that is reduction and plus means it lost electrons and that is oxidation. So bromine is doing both the things over here. So again start with whichever one you want it doesn't really matter so we'll go ahead and start with the simpler one first which is Br2 to give Br minus okay and this was our reduction equation so let's start with this because there is no oxygens over here to worry about. All we need to do is make sure everything is balanced out. Uh, so the first thing I will do is balance the element. Okay, so this is Br2 and I should have two bromides over here. So I have no oxygen, so I have no hydrogen to worry about. So now I can go ahead and balance my charge. And so here I have zero charge and here I have two negatives and so um, to balance out my two negatives I will need to um, add electrons and so here it's going to be two electrons that I have to add in order to balance out this equation so my final equation becomes Br2 plus two electrons to give two Br minus and this is again my equation one and so this is all balanced out now I need to look at the other one and so now we have Br2 to give Br O3 minus and this is my oxidation oxidation is loss of electrons so electrons will be on the right hand side I already am thinking about all those things so number one I have to balance out my element because the bromine is not balanced here. So this is Br2 and so we'll go ahead and balance out the bromine. And then I have to balance out my oxygen. So second is for oxygen. And so I will go ahead and add, I have six oxygens on the right. So I will add six waters on the left. And then in third, I will go ahead and balance out my hydrogen. And so I will add 12 hydrogen on the right hand side because I added six waters on the left and then fourth of course is the charge that I have to balance out. On the left it's zero charge. On the right hand side I have two negatives and I have 12 positive which makes a total of 10 negatives. So if I have 10 negatives on the right hand side then I need to, excuse me, 10 positives. 10 positive. So if I have 10 positive on the right hand side and 0 on the left hand side, I need to add 10 electrons on the right hand side in order to nullify everything. So which means that my final equation is Br2 to give me Br03. Let me not forget my coefficient. And I have 12 H plus and 10 electrons and I forgot my water 6H2O on the left hand side so this is my equation number 2 okay so then I need to see what I need to multiply and I have 10 electrons in equation 2 and I have 2 electrons in equation number 1 so then I have to multiply equation 1 by 5 okay and then I'll be adding up everything so then I can rewrite my equation so 5 Br2 plus 10 electrons to give 10 bromides and my equation 2 does not get changed so it is just Br2 plus 6 H2O 
to give 2BRO3 minus plus 12H plus plus 10 electrons. Okay, and so then um, I will go ahead and add everything up, get my final equation, 10 electrons gone. And then I have a total of 6 bromines, so one 5 here and 1 here. And then water, I have 6 water, water I don't have on the right hand side. And then I have 10 bromides, 2 bromates, and 12 H pluses, because I don't have any H plus on the left hand side. So I can see that I have all even numbers, 6, 6, 10, 2, 12. So I will go ahead and divide this whole equation by 2. Okay, to give me 3Br2. Why? Just because of simplicity. Okay, you can work other ways also, but it helps if you make things simple for yourself. And it's always uh, good to bring things down to the lowest numbers. And then BrO3 minus, and then of course the 6H plus. So now since we are working with a basic solution, we have one more thing to do, is we have to add hydroxides. So the way we add hydroxides is that we look at how many uh, protons we have to neutralize. So since we have six protons to neutralize, we have to add six hydroxide. But you don't just add to the one side, okay? So you add the hydroxide here to nullify the protons, but you also have to add six hydroxides on the left-hand side, okay? Because you're adding it to the whole solution. So then you can write your whole equation out again. Um, and now this will become water. So this is now 6H2O, all right? And so you have 3Br2 plus, now you have three waters here and six waters over here. So this water is going to get canceled out. However, you still have the hydroxide left over and then 10 bromide, you still have the, not the 10, five, my bad. 5 and the bromate BrO3 minus and then since we crossed out the 3 H2O from here I will have only 3 waters left on the final. So in your basic equations you're going to see hydroxides, in your acidic equations you're going to see protons. So that's how you know whether you have an acidic or a basic solution. So again here this is your final answer. So balance out the equation, cross out the electrons, and then add hydroxides. That's what you have to do in order to get rid of the protons.